Now, I mess with Azalea Banks. The issue with Azalea Banks is she has a tood. She has a tood. And she don't know how to act in public. What do you mean? Azalea Banks has a mouth. And that's what gets her in trouble. And that's what every other celebrity says, too. She could be, she could be bigger. She could be cute. She really could be. But she has a mouth. And she thinks she's it. She really does. And that's why she's where she is. Because she thought she was it when it wasn't the right time. And she could have been it. She could have been running her mouth then when she was it. But now she, she done lost that train. The train done left. She's talking about some all these other artists. She had, she's had beef with everybody. T.I., um, Iggy Azalea, uh, Rihanna. Like, you can't just cut your ties with everybody who's up there. You gotta, you gotta be nice. And she just has a mouth like, I don't know. I love her music, though. I love her music. She's, she's, she's different, too. Um, she's she giving me something. Is she independent? Like, what do you mean? Like, her own, what do you mean? She got her own thing. I don't she know. She got her own, own label. Because usually people like that, it's hard for people them to get signed. Then nobody want to work with you. I don't know. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. What? I remember when she had to beef with Rihanna. And Rihanna, didn't, all she did was post that their, um, their earnings each year. Who? Rihanna. <laughs> That's all you gotta do. Because, because, um, it, that um, shot you up right there. Isaiah there. Banks was doing a lot. What'd she say? I don't remember. I don't even know what the the T was, but all I know is Azalea Banks was trying to start something with Rihanna, and Rihanna delivered. She pulled one. She said, she was looking out like like it was so like she was unbothered by it. Mm -hmm. Like there was some, this small ant tapping her in the back. She was going. She's looking around and she looked down. She said, "Oh my God, who's this?" <laughs> and all she did was she she just dropped. She said, "These are my earnings, and these are yours." On her, on her, um, <laughs> I think it was on her Twitter or something like that. And it's how you did this. Did she come back? No. I oh, know you can't. So. Now what? Yeah, that's why when people you. talk. Because that, that's, that speaks volumes right there. What's up, my beloved ladies? You guys, today we are eating, well, I'm eating Greek food, Mediterranean food. And Darius is having him some Domino's. Y'all know he's picky. So. We're going to get the saying grace. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for this food that I'm about to receive. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. So what I have here is, y'all, y'all know I love my chicken. So it's like eight Athenian, Athenian chicken. Athenian. Athenian chicken. My husband had to correct me. With a salad. And then I got me a lamb shank. And they gave me the pita. I'm not too big on pitas, y'all. So I got a lamb shank here, too. That's a lot of pepper that comes in there. Ooh. It's about to be scrumptious. I love my lamb shanks, y'all. I love my lamb shanks. And we that also I got... Now, look got at this. We got a lot this. of stuff. We also, I also got those, um... I like that. Chicken bites things. Chicken or whatever. Oh, yeah. Those, like, chicken... Buffalo chicken that. bites. And then we have some pineapple hop... Or pineapple jalapeno ones. Yeah. Now, we only got the pineapple jalapeno ones. And then she messed up and made the buffalo ones. So she gave it to us. All right. Mm. I love the olives, y'all. And then I got me a chicken, a chicken shabab. So basically, it's a, a, a chicken on a gyro with onions and stuff. It's like a gyro, but it's a chicken one. And it's like this, y'all. It gives you sauce and everything. So. Mm. Oh, we got onions on it. Mmm. Look at that. That looks good, y'all, with tomatoes and stuff. And right, here's the sauce they gave me. Cucumber sauce. So, we'll see. We'll get to that as we go. Let me try this. Pineapple. Chicken? Yeah. Try the whole thing in my mouth. Or... Mm. Is it good? Mm -hmm. Let me taste something. Oh, y'all got fries too. Here go my fries. So I'm for the max. That's good. You want some fries? Mm-hmm. You want to go right here? Mm-hmm. 
Mm. This is actually really good. Crack them. So y'all, I'm gonna have my food. I know we, I told Darius need to take down his things like that because they like, y'all like to see this. I can see it. Now, because I just did that. Mm. Okay, this is the chicken, y'all. It's pineapple chicken bites. Right? Yeah. Ooh. Mmm. That's good. Mmm. That's good. They bake it. With jalapeno in it. Good. I know. You would think that wouldn't be good, but yeah, I know. It's sweet with pineapple and that little chicken bites. I bet you the buffalo one ain't gonna taste like that. You know what I mean? It's gonna be good. Mmm. 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 It tastes like Chinese food a little bit. Mmm. -hmm. That's good. Wow, that's really good. Mm. You taste the buffalo one? Mm -mm. Oh yeah, that y'all got this. Some um chicken parmesan. I know y'all like that. You ain't finished yet? There we go. That chicken parmesan up in this piece. What y'all know about that? That's from uh it's got onions, mushrooms, chicken, bacon. This chicken car car carabana. Car Car carbonara. Car not carbonara. Carabona. Bana. Carbonara. It's not like that. Mm-hmm. Mmm. That is good. You wanna taste that? That one's good too. You wanna taste that? Mm-mm. Not as good, I bet. Mm. As that one, but. Mmm. Um. Okay, Domino. Mm-hmm. Um, I forgot that was from Domino, yeah. That's why I actually want to taste it. Mmm. I don't know what you're talking about. Mm-hmm. Or was it Pizza Hut? Mm-hmm. He must have tasted their pastas. Because that pasta good. Okay. Hmm? Can I try this one? Mm-hmm. This looks dry at all. It's good too. It's not as good. I but we like the sweetness of that one. That one's good. Mm -hmm. Let me take this back over here. I'll show you why. Mm. Oh, I gotta Mmm. Mmm. It's still good. It ain't that good. Mm. It ain't like um Italian dressing, y'all. On my salad. So we got a feast going on. What's going on? And a lot of uh, Greek food comes with lemons, y'all. A lot of lemons that you're supposed to squeeze on everything. Your salad. The feta cheese. Mm. Oh, God, the fry. Which one do you like better? What? The Domino's or the? Mm. Chicken is chicken. Sometimes. For the most part. I like all. Uh, um, I like that. And this. A lean. Some people don't like Domino's. I like Domino's. I think Domino's mm -hmm. is good. And Domino's can be pricey too, y'all. Mm -hmm. Don't let it fool you. Talking about something. Five dollars. Five dollar box. What are we saying? No. What are we saying? There's no five dollar box. This is not Taco Bell. They got ten dollar. Mm hmm. They'll be like a whole large pizza with one topping for seven ninety nine, something like that. Oh yeah. 
Mm-hmm. I love it good. Mm-hmm. How many people mm-hmm. left? In college? Mm-mm. Why? Mm-mm. Pizza. Let me see my app. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. That's why right here. That's it's good. good. It's like Chinese food, basically. Mm-hmm. That's the fact that they bake it. Yeah. Mm. They baked it all together. Is that breaded though? Mm-hmm. Oh. It's breaded chicken and then they put a lot of stuff on it. Yeah. Then they put um, cheese. Cheese a lot of cheese on it. Mmm. This pasta is bangy, y'all. Mm. It's cooked just right, cool. I don't know why they give you ranch in these little circle cups like I'm gonna be able to dip this in there. Mm-hmm. I, I think they made for chicken wings only. Y'all, we want to try some Thai food. I mean, like noodles and stuff. I try to have Thai food with her, but. You can have it if you want. Oh. The cuisine part. Ooh, good. This is good. New, right? What they doing with that? This is something new. Yeah, they better keep that on me. That's cool. What? The bu- this one has blue cheese embedded in it. Oh, does that. it? Oh. We killed it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I did that. Something different. I was about to cut a check off of these people. Cause we're oh. some, some. <clears throat> this is so good. I'm saying they'll be there tomorrow. So I'm saying, well, let me try that. Uh, oh yeah. Catch a check. We should go to their PR. I mean, to their media team. <laughs> we did talk about it the whole time. Mm-hmm. But it is good. I'm already like full. Um, boy. You shouldn't be. I don't know why I am. I had. I feel like I eat so little. I had like three pieces of pizza. Sometimes I can eat the whole pizza. Well. Lamb shank. 
What you know about that? No. <clears throat> Isn't that basically? It looks like turkey. Mm, it tastes like turkey. It's more flavorful. Mm. Tender. Oh. Turkey. And I got four ranches. Mm hmm At seventy-five cents a piece. Why did you get that? I didn't know. Because I was assuming these were like buffalo wings that I would, we would eat them with the ranch. Yeah, they showed you a picture of that thing. And on the thing, on the, the website, it looked like they had like... Mm -mm. I can't. Really? So give me some tea. Oh. You too full? Mm -hmm. You tired? Yeah. Why? Because I didn't get a lot of sleep last night either. I was watching SZA at Coachella. That's your problem? No, I had to stay up for her. I was going to go to sleep. Mm-hmm. But I had to stay up. And that's why you got mad. Huh? This morning we got woke up for your haircut. Yeah. I had to wake up, get a haircut at. I had to wake up. At, and it was our fault that you couldn't sleep in. No, I didn't say it was your fault. Who said you that? Like, I didn't get a chance to sleep in. I'm always pay, painting me in a bad picture. Like I woke up this morning in a ruck. It's going. Rah! You heard me coming down the stairs saying oh, I couldn't sleep <laughs> in. No, it's not what happened. No, I didn't say anything at all this morning. Until I got sure. back, and then I said, I wish I got time to sleep in. There you go. That's why I didn't make that up. I didn't blame you guys for it. I just had to get my hair cut. Right, so? I just said I wish I had time to sleep in. Anyway, I was watching a nice scissor. She said, Daddy, man, they're like, go, Jean, go, Jean. I wish I was there. Who was that? SZA? Mm hmm She's killing it. She's an up and she's new. She's not new. Well, she is. She only has one album out. But she's already opening for the weekend. The 15 year old? No, mom. Mm. Everybody's not Billie Eilish. There's so many people you be talking about. Every time that I say a name, the 15 year old? The 15 year old? Mm -hmm. The 15 year old? No. no Billie Eilish is 16. Well, everybody's killing it for you. Mm -hmm. Always. Everybody's killing it for you. No. Not everybody, because I'm about to put this out there. I don't like The Weeknd. What's that? A very popular artist that I don't like. Why not? And he's headlining at Coachella this year. I don't know. I just don't oh, like that's the one you saw her in the car? No. Oh, my God. That's another one? Yeah, that's another one. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Mm -hmm. Put no. it on bad. I don't like Khalid either. That's who it was. I feel like my haircut it looks different this time, and I don't know if I'm here for it. Anyway, yeah, that one's Khalid. Um, and I don't like him either. But there's no, I don't like The Weeknd more than I don't like Khalid. There's no reason why I don't. I just don't like Khalid's music. I don't know. Why not? The Weeknd, I just feel like it's a lot. I feel like it's a lot. What kind of music like? Do I know what? Yeah, you know the weekend's music. Uh huh. He has a song on the Black Panther album. I like that song actually though. I'm always ready for a woman. Da -da -da -da. But I only, I only like it because of Kendrick Lamar. I don't like it because of um. Right. The weekend. But anyway, he has um. The Hills. There's a lot of songs. The has. Hills. Yeah. Not the sitcom The Hills. No, mom. Uh, the weekend has a lot of songs that are popular, which is why I was confused. Like it was cute when he first came out, but then like now there's like a lot of songs that he's popular. That's like just like he's killing it on. Well, people think he's killing it, not me. And his name is The Weekend, and it's spelled it's spelled Week N D. So, and it came out with an album, but I kind of feel like the album flopped too because I haven't heard any of the songs on it. Like usually he's always killing it. Like his uh song, his album um. Now I do like one song of his, his album um, Starboy. 
was killing it and everyone was like, oh my god, oh my god. That came out in 2016. That's so weird. It was so long ago. So Star Wars killing it. Um, what are the other things that are... Only other song I heard on that album was um, I Feel It Coming. You don't know that song either. Let me get a song that you probably know. Mm -mm. His first album, when was that? Where are the hills? Why is it, hit? oh the hills is not far up there. Oh, let me just go to the middle before he, <laughs> before he comes to copyright this video. You know the song? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's him. Why you want him? Or, I can't feel my face when I'm with you. You know that song? That's mm -hmm. him. I don't like his, I don't like his music. I, I like, um, I feel it coming, but that's about it. I don't know what it's been. There's other songs that I know, but I'm just looking off of the, based off the names. Anyway, yeah, he, oh, he, uh, was the headliner yesterday. At Coachella, mm. but the issue is he's that doing something right. I didn't say he wasn't doing anything wrong. Mm -hmm. I just said I don't like him. I understand. Just because yeah. I don't, you don't have to like everybody. I don't know yeah, everybody's mm -hmm. music. Anyway, he's he doing something right because people like most like it. I know people like his music. I just nothing wrong with that. There's nothing bad about his music. I just don't like. I don't know. You don't like him as a you like him as an artist. You just mm -hmm. you don't like his music. The way he write it, or the way he sing it. I don't know why. Or the style of art. I'll figure it out. Trust me. There's a reason. There's always a good reason. But I don't know what it is. Mm. Now, why don't I like Khalid? Maybe I just need to get to know him. But like, I don't, I think the hype, I think what it is is the hype. Like, around it. Mm hmm So like, people, some people get hype for like, no reason. Mm hmm And... Like, it'd be, I, I don't, I'm not mad at him being an artist. But I feel like he's like, like so popular like the weekend and i don't think that is like necessary and now you could say the same thing about beyonce or someone could say the same thing about beyonce but i feel like she has that there's there's a reason why people like her so much mm -hmm. now not saying that there isn't a reason why people like the weekend but like i think her beyonce's performances are the best in the industry like there's no one topping her her live performances mm -hmm. um See, like Rihanna, she's giving me a, a a bop, and she's always giving me a song. But her her live performances are nowhere near vocally and visually near Beyonce's. And Beyonce's always just giving me vocals on off stage through my phone in my ear, through my eyeballs. I don't know. Like she's always giving me vocals. Wow. I don't know. Whatever. There's a reason why I think that some people deserve the hype more than others. I just don't know what the hype is for the weekend yet. So maybe if someone will tell me. And then maybe I'll see it. Um, Whatever. I love SZA. So SZA, she, the first time I heard SZA, she was on a song with Rihanna. On Rihanna's anti-album, Consideration. And I remember loving that song. And I said, oh my god, who is this? But I didn't really care to, to look that up the person because I don't think she had any music out anyway. Mm -hmm. But I was like, oh my gosh, who is this? Come to find out, she did, huh? No, I don't think she had any. I don't think her first album is, mm, I'm always giving up bad facts. I swear her first album is it's her debut album, CTRL, or Control, or whatever it is. Let's see. No, my phone is on a lot. No, not the one. Go, Jean. Go, Jean. Anyway, she's always giving me a bop, I promise. She has um oh, All God. the Stars. Do you know mm -hmm. that song? Uh-uh. It's maybe the night that my dreams might oh, yeah. me know all the stars. That's and that was that song was written for Black Panther and she did that with Kendrick Lamar. She's come she's on the rise. She's really coming up. Now I don't know if let me see. Yeah. All I got is these broken clocks. I, and she has um ooh, ooh uh trying to do a love with you know that song. Um she has homie dynamite. She's giving me child's play, like she's giving me a uh, yeah. She's giving me love galore. She's giving me supermodel. Yeah, so she's and she's just she's just coming out on the into the scene and she's already giving me all these bops. Now, let me see if um let me see if she had anything before CTRL. Why is my Wi-Fi or my data taking so long? 
I'm not the one. Really? I'm not the one. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, she had an EP, but that's about it. Mm. You can have an EP with ten songs. I don't know what an EP that is. Then I thought this EP meant like the number of songs. Okay, Google. What does EP mean? Extended play. According to Wikipedia, an extended play. Re oh, it's a standard play. Mm, it's an extended play record. It's a musical recording that contains more tracks than a than a single, but is usually unqualified as an album or an LP. Okay, mm. that's what I'll be doing. But anyway, so yeah. she's killing it, and she only had she did that song with Rihanna, and she only had an EP out, and I don't know how. How you get a song with Rihanna, and you only have ten songs on an EP? That's not she even real. good. Album. Yeah, she is. Um, that's why she's But that. still, the people don't put faith in people like that. Like, oh, I like you so much that you don't even have an album out. Well, I guess. Nicki Minaj said that too. Whatever. Regardless. Yeah. Well, um, with Lil Wayne, and uh, she was already she was already killing it before she even had an album. Or no, anything she to her name. Without... She had singles everywhere. Who? Nicki Minaj. Uh. Anyway, um... This brings me to the tea of the day. Mm hmm So, right now on on trending mm -hmm. is um Nicki Minaj. Well, she's I don't know what her what, new song. Yeah, she came out with two new singles. Mm hmm Um, Chung Lee and I don't think I heard one though. Barbie Tings. Mm. Um, I like Chun Lee. I like both of them. I think I like Barbie Tings better than mm -hmm. Chun Lee. But whatever. So she was doing an interview on um, Beats Radio, mm -hmm. and apparently she felt some type of way. It was uh, some drama between Cardi B and her. So long story short, basically, uh, you know, she had that song with Motorsport with um, with Cardi B, and Nicki's point was that she being Nicki Minaj uh -huh. was gracing she felt that she was gracing Cardi B to actually let Cardi B be on a track of hers and she tried to she made it evidently clear in the in the interview that she didn't want to seem cocky or anything like that but she was just saying I kind of felt she was saying she, she kind of felt give that, her a little bit more recognition like yeah she should have she um felt I mean. she needed respect is what she was saying as a as a veteran in the the female rap industry, or whatever, and basically, so Cardi B didn't say anything that that you know that 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 hurt that, but she said something about Cardi B had an interview or something right after Motorsport had come out, and Cardi B was talking about some oh you changed your verse and da 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 this about Nicki Minaj da 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 that, and Nicki Minaj felt some type of way because she felt that she was doing Cardi B a favor by letting her be on a song of hers, and um and I agree, I don't think I don't think that. You know, this has anything to do with being cocky or being like, I just think that um, that's the truth. I mean, she just felt like, because she said when she, when Nicki Minaj said that she first came out, she was doing music. If she, if anybody even let her be on one of their things, she just, she felt that that was a sign of like respect. Like, like she felt that she owed them respect because mm -hmm, of that. Mm -hmm. Because they had been out, you know, for however many long and they're letting this, this girl. Uh -huh, that they don't know that she that, not, right. you know, she made she one She doesn't hit. have an album. And Nicki Minaj was saying, like, I mean, I can understand where Nicki Minaj was coming from because on, the only thing that, that made it was Vodak Yellow. And you're trusting her enough to put her on a single of yours. Mm -hmm. Or not necessarily of yours, but a single that you're going to be in, that you're associating yourself with. Mm -hmm. With an unknown artist who only has one hit, who's just coming out with Vodak Yellow. Not just coming out, but you know what I'm saying. Right. Like, that's the only thing she had to her, 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 her artillery. Name, yeah. And so she felt some type of way that, that Cardi B was talking about something. Oh, well, Nicki Minaj did this and she did this and she did that. And, blah, blah, blah. and she felt that she should have been saying, uh, being a little more grateful that she was even, uh, uh, that Nicki Minaj even said yes to the thing. So this is what happened. Mm -hmm. Apparently, she, uh, Nicki Minaj, um, she, uh, she knows Quavo very well. And she said Quavo came to her and was like, hey, I want you to be uh, on a single with me or whatever, right? And she knew that, I mean, Nicki Minaj knew that the Migos brothers, or, or the Migos, mm -hmm. um, Migos, they were coming out with an album, so she just assumed that she was gonna be on like a song, a feature on a song with them or whatever, right? So anyway, um, he played her a few, uh, 
tracks or whatever and he wanted her to be on a, another song or something and she said no like i like the first one you played me i like motorsport like let's do that one uh -huh. and he was like i don't know i don't know and she kept on begging him and begging him and he was like okay fine so then he said yeah this will end up being a track with um with the migos mm -hmm. uh so then she was like yeah i figured that you guys would come out with an album i'll, I'll just feature on it so then quavo was like okay how would you feel if cardi b was on it too and she said, from the get-go, she was all open arms. She was like, yeah, I would love if Cardi B was on there. That would be amazing. She felt um, she felt that she was doing Cardi B a favor. She was like, that's totally fine. From the beginning, she had no opposition towards it. She was like, I would love to do a track with Cardi B, right? Mm -hmm. So um, then she, uh, then uh, she, I guess she told this, this story, uh, this exact story after Motorsport came out and people were fact trying to fact check Nicki Minaj. Someone said, "Oh well, this is not true. You didn't, uh, or this didn't happen in X the X Y Z or whatever. And you're lying about this or whatever." So she tried to go to Quavo and all of them and say, "Can you guys back me up and tell them like like let everyone really know happen. this is what really happened?" Mm -hmm. And Quavo literally said, "No, I'm not doing that." And she was going, "That was wrong." Urgh. And she's like, "Why wouldn't you?" I forgot what she, why, what he, what his explanation was for, but he ended up saying basically what he said was he wasn't gonna do it, wasn't gonna back up Nicki Minaj and, and tell everyone that she was telling the truth. So, so basically, her whole premise was that she just felt kind of backstabbed by all of them. Mm -hmm. That first by Cardi B because she felt that Cardi B should have been more grateful that she was even on a track with Nicki Minaj, you know. And I don't think that's cocky. I think that's the truth, you know. Right. She, um. I think Minaj has been in the, the industry for a long time, and I will be like, like that's like saying if I like had one, one hit, and all of a sudden Nicki Minaj asked me to be on, uh, or Nicki Minaj allowed me to be on a song with her, I'd scream, I'd right. scream. But it was more like a oh, right. I I'm, don't care. All right, I'm hot too. Yeah, and she's like, you. Uh, she didn't feel like Cardi B deserved to, to be to feel on that pedestal yet. But she said everything's fine now. Yeah, she said everything is fine now. So. You want a what? Hmm? You say you want a what? What? I mean, you say you want or something. No. I don't think so. Anyway. I felt that too, that if you did something for Nicki Minaj to do something like that on that thing, I just think that she probably should have, you know. Not that she's not grateful. She just probably, when she... When she did her first interview, she shouldn't have highlighted that she changed her song. Right, or she didn't even say anything about. Right, that you know. I guess I don't I'm even. I didn't even see the I'm interview. I'm so with Cardi grateful B. that that that. Right. She would have. She did this. It wasn't it. even about that. It was kind of like she said that Nicki, uh, all that Cardi B was doing was saying, oh, Nicki Minaj changed her this and Nicki Minaj did this right, and Nicki Minaj did that. Instead of saying I'm so appreciative for right. Nicki Minaj. And she didn't expect her to be falling at the knees, but she just expected her to be like, oh. Mm -hmm. I understand. I get it. I was, so, I was excited when I got the call or something like that. Like she just, it was just like, oh, well, Nicki Minaj did all of this and this, that. Oh my God, all the crumbling. Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry. Yeah, but I knew what you, what you were saying. Well, y'all, that's how it And she was crying. Nicki Minaj was crying and I felt bad. Well, you gotta understand how hard she has worked in her life to get up there. She has became the number one female. And then, yeah, she, and I think it's because that, apparently, I think that people are hate, hate on Nicki Minaj. I think that she, and it's, and I don't think it's necessarily. But why are they hating on her? I don't know. I don't think it's necessarily, they're necessarily get, it's getting to her, but she kind of like felt stabbed in the back that she's trying to come back and she's trying to be nice and like help Cardi B and start her up and she's basically joining up with the other the people who are hating on her and she thought she did something nice for her mm -hmm. and she's over some some well Nicki Minaj did this and Nicki Minaj did that and I I still think any day I'm gonna pick um Nicki yeah. Minaj over Cardi B I do love Cardi B she's mm -hmm. killing it but I think that I like um Nicki Minaj better mm. So do you think that uh, Cardi B is going to be the next Nicki Minaj takeover? No. You just think she got a season? No. A season? I think she'll be popular. I think she's going to be a, 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 pop, a prominent female rapper. Uh-huh. But I don't think that anybody is Nicki Minaj. Of course. I put Cardi B on a pedestal of, well, 
Cardi B's better than Remy Ma, and I do like Azalea Banks. You don't like Remy Ma? No, 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 no. Why not? No, no. Her lyrics might be cute sometimes, but I don't like her voice, the style, her music, any of that. Mm. Like Nicki Minaj can give you, she has a wide variety. She can give you a, a club bop, she can give you electronic, she can give you, Remy Ma is not giving you electronic. She's not giving you a dance party. Nicki Minaj can do all of that. And Cardi B too, I think Cardi B is more like a, she's just a female rapper. But Nicki Minaj, I feel like, has created a own, her own, like, she's so, like, so, she has so, she's so unique. I feel like Cardi B is just a female rapper and she's funny. People like that, her personality. People yeah, like Cardi B's she, personality. She, yeah, she got it. All of that, um, extra that she like, that people uh -huh. like that. Uh -huh. Now, Nicki Minaj came on the scene with, 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 and was coincide to me with for with me with Lady Gaga and when she came in with all the um the different types of weird dresses and like diff like being just weird at in a time where weird was not okay like like uh Lady Gaga was giving me she now Lady Gaga had an extreme she was giving me meat dresses oh yeah Lady Gaga out there mm -hmm. she was out there and I feel like Nicki Minaj was giving us something that we had never like she was giving me multiple personalities like stuff that we had never even seen before and she started a lot, started a lot of trends and she started a lot of trends yeah now cardi b she's just giving like she i love cardi b's music and she can rap like but she's not giving me anything she's not revolutionary Nicki minaj is revolutionary for and i still think that there's nobody out there like Nicki minaj like nobody is Nicki minaj no one no one is similar to Nicki minaj there's nobody out there like Nicki minaj so you think Lil kim was Huh? <laughs> I don't know. I actually don't know who that is. Stop playing. No, but I really don't know. You ain't never seen Lil' Kim. Mom, no. Mm-mm. She got to go. You know who she is. And I barely know who Remy is. Now, I mess with Azalea Banks. The issue with Azalea Banks is she has a tood. She has a tood. And she don't know how to act in public. What do you mean? Azalea Banks has a mouth. And that's what gets her in trouble. And that's what every other celebrity says too. She could be she could be bigger, she could be cute. She really could be. But she has a mouth and she thinks she's it. She really does. And that's why she's where she is because she thought she was it and when it wasn't the right time and she could have been it. She could have been running her mouth then when she was it, but now she she done lost that train. The train done left. She's talking about some all these other artists. She had she's had beef with everybody. T I is um, Iggy Azalea, uh, Rihanna. Like you can't just cut your ties with everybody who's up there. You gotta, you gotta be nice. And she just has a mouth like, I don't know. I love her music though. I love her music. She's, she's, she's different too. Um, she's she giving in, me is something. Is she independent? Like what do you mean? Like her own? What do you mean? She got her own thing. I don't she know. Got her own, own label. Cause usually people like that. It's hard for people them to get signed. Cause nobody wanna work with you. I don't know. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. What? I remember when she had to be foot Rihanna. And Rihanna didn't, all she did was post that their um their earnings each year. Who? Rihanna. <laughs> That's all you gotta do. Cause cause it's um it, That shot um, you up right there. Isaiah there. Banks was doing a lot. What'd she say? I don't remember. I don't even know what the the T was, but all I know is Azalea Banks was trying to start something with Rihanna, and Rihanna delivered. It. She pulled one. She said, "She was looking out like like it was so like she was unbothered by it. Mm -hmm. Like there was some, this small ant tapping her in the back. She was going. She was looking around and she looked down. She said, "Oh my God, who's this?" <laughs> and all she did was she she just dropped. She said, "These are my earnings, and these are yours." On her, on her, um, <laughs> I think it was on her Twitter or something like that. And it's how you did this. Did she come back? No. Oh, no, you can't. So. Now what? Yeah, that's why when people you. talk. Because that, that, that speaks volumes right there. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> and I would have screamed if I was Azalea. But, like, that's the truth, though. Who Put your piece she in is? there. But who does she think she is, though? But who? who? Azalea Banks. Who? I ain't never know she had attitude. Now she's she's you don't know who that is. Mm mm. Uh, oh. How you know? Mom, I know who you don't know. You don't know a lot. You don't know half the people that I be talking about. You only know Lil Kim because I was your time and Remy Ma maybe. 
I don't remember mom. Yeah. Because I remember watching her on Queen of the Ring. When she was, when, before she even now, started. my thing is, Isaiah Banks, I don't care. She, she had like, I think she makes like, what, half a million dollars a year? I don't know Ouch. what her income is. Ouch. But it's enough for her to get her teeth fixed. I'm serious. I'm sorry. If you're, if you're a, a star, if you're a star -a, no, she didn't. Mm. See? The first, I can't even type in Isaiah Banks. I didn't even know. She said, Isaiah Banks is now sorry for attacking Beyonce. She better not have, because I'll kick her out real quick. <laughs> I'll kick her out of the clan real quick. Because I used you? to stand her. That was when I like her music. But I'll, I'll yeah, I'll change it. You see yeah, how she, no, no, no. She put her lip, she put her lip out. Her, she can't, you can't tell because it's not a 3D, or this is not for a side view, but she's really doing this. So you can't, I promise. Let me show you. Now she didn't need it, but like you can tell more in this picture. Like they're more, you can tell more that they're like. What's wrong with her team? Mom, I, I, these are all actual stu studio pictures. I'll show you in a, oh my God, in an interview, I was shook. Oh my God, I was shook. See that she can't get away from it. Az Azalea makes just drag Troy Sivan. She's about to be cut. Troy, so I stand Troy Sivan too. I promise, I promise. She'll be out. Let me see her. What she got a uh, video that she told somebody off? Azalea Banks emotional apology letter to Zayn Malik. Who who hasn't she attacked in her life? I told you. She got she she bipolar. She could be having problems. But she better not be having problems with me because I'm not the one. You never know. People now, be, let me say to She you. could be having some mental issues and shit. And you know, some people don't even get medication for what the things they need. So, for you to have problems with that many people, something's wrong with you. There's something wrong with her teeth, mom. All she got to do is need braces. So she just needs to get that no, gap cleaned if in. If you are a star you need to have your That's fixed. why I said she need to get her braces. Then she got braces on right there at the bottom. At the bottom. Now, her hit song was 212. She's giving me two one two. What that mean? She's giving me two one two. Is her the song name? Oh my god! Look at her teeth. She got braces at the bottom. Why she didn't get them at the top? I don't know what the issue is. But they look better, but they she just got them whitened. You can I can my teeth my teeth aren't the best, but I can make tricks to make it look like my teeth are, are killing it. Like from the front, they're fine. But once you get to the side, you, you see them doing this. Really? You see them doing the wave, and that's what she does. She takes pictures like this. There's ain't nothing wrong with your side teeth. You always Not my panic. side teeth, the te my teeth from the side. Oh, your teeth from I the side. I don't know about you, but I ain't got side teeth. You got side teeth? When you turn to the side, that's your side teeth. I got, I have teeth. But none of them are facing the side. Side teeth. There's no, it's the front teeth from the side is what it is. Whatever. Anyway. Yeah, so Zayn Banks needs to pipe down. If she, oh my gosh, I'm gonna read up on that. And if I promise, if she tried Beyonce, Beyonce too hard, um, she'll be leaving all of my um, my Apple Music playlists. She'll be leaving. She'll be leaving. Really? It ain't even that serious. No, she'll be leaving. So you gonna take off your playlist? Yeah, I'll kick her out. No, I'm kidding. I know I'm about to say. But actually, oh my gosh, if Beyonce wanted me to. Who's Azalea? Like, what if Beyonce said, hey guys, like, don't rock with Azalea Banks anymore. I promise I wouldn't know who that was. Like, I'd be, <laughs> like, if you would search it on my phone, it, my phone would be doing this. Tell so who is that? Really? And I program my phone to do that, too. If Beyonce told me to do anything, I would do it. But not with Rihanna, though. That's the same thing with the Snapchat. Beyonce, tell you to jump off the cliff, just dare just one time. Please jump. I just want to see it's if you can different. survive. Well, if I was going to die, okay, if she said, just jump off a cliff and you can, like, be... On a song or like a snippet, <laughs> you'll think about it. Yeah, I would. <laughs> oh my goodness, so Beyonce. It's craziness. So like, where, like, how far do you want me to jump down? Like, which cliff you want? Because there's like a few in Wisconsin. We can do like where you want to go. Is what I would say. The Grand Canyon. What she want me to die? <laughs> right. Do I get a, a parachute? See, that's the thing. No, uh, this is a, a bungee jump. Well, she said, let's go um, skydiving. I'd go skydiving for her, but not for anybody else. But if she was, like, with me... Would you go bungee jumping? Yeah. Rock climbing? Uh-huh. I'd do anything with Beyonce. And she's like, Darius, the only time you're going to meet me if you go um, skydiving I with me. I will 
Jump off this building. We can do. Jump off the the uh the Empire State Building. Are you trying to get the tallest building in the world? Yes. The top. And behind. then I want you to yeah, I want you to jump off of it, and then at the end, like is that bungee jumping? When you have a string on yeah. you, yeah, yeah, bungee jump. Uh huh. You do it. Yeah. And then she says, soon as she soon they unclip her, she leaves. You won't see her. Yes. Oh my God. That'd be a story for a lifetime. I wouldn't do that. I you just, ain't like you better have a conversation with It's the Burj Khalifa. Oh, what is it called? Whatever. The tallest building in the world in Dubai. And. Darius, you don't have no. You wouldn't even oh have a no conversation with her. I know. But most people don't get this privilege at all. I'd scream. You will be screaming when you go, when you fall out that Oh building. my God. I'd scream. And it'd be just be a, a and you know what? A at that moment, thing. at that moment, you'd be like, "Why did I do this?" Because as soon as she got down there, she just left. No, and, and I'd poof, be going, I'd be going, "Oh gone. my gosh, did you guys see that? Like Beyonce was here, and she's just gone like that." Oh my god, I'd be, I'd be in awe. I'd be starstruck. I really would. I'd be going, oh "My god," and I'd be giving you a YouTube story. I think you would cry. You see, Beyonce, you yes. be the one that was crying. I think if I was, shaking. if I was. In Seriously. the vicinity of Beyonce, if I was in the same room as Beyonce, I would have a panic attack. And I, I, I'd be one of those people, like right now it seems weird when you're like, like, oh, why do people cry? But I promise if I was en close enough to touch Beyonce, I would start crying. If I was close enough to touch Beyonce, she's literally, you're touching $350 million. That's all she worth? How much are you worth? <laughs> No, I didn't realize and, that. And that. she's touching eight hundred and ten million. What? What? Jay Z? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I'm touching a billion dollars. Right. Whatever. Oh my gosh! I'd scream. Whatever. To, Mom, Beyonce has so much history behind her. So many just just broken like, and she's like met like all the other famous people. And if you combine all the famous people she's met and their net worths. I'd be touching four trillion dollars. But there is you only touch a hurt out. But she's touched other people. It don't care. Then I'll touch other people too. And I'm worth way more than uh was a lot or more. Huh? Who you touched? <laughs> <laughs> Who you touched? Because unless you touch me, you're not worth three trillion. Whatever. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh my gosh, I'd start crying. And like people have these stories, like other oh, people really do try it though. People have these stories of like new, like they'll be like new and upcoming artist or whatever. And so they'll be in an interview, and the inter the interviewer will say, "Oh, like what's the the biggest time you've been starstruck or something?" And they'll say, "Well, I was at an award show one time, and I was just backstage, you know, getting my water, and Beyonce came up to me and tapped me on the shoulder and said, "Hey, you did a good job," and she walked off, and I screamed, and I'll be going, "Oh, I'll be rolling my eyes going." Goodness, lucky you. Oh my gosh, in the mo like Beyonce is so mystical. Like people don't know who she is. Like to be to actually have studio time with Beyonce, like if I was a producer with Beyonce, I'd scream. And I kind of feel like this the the stigma, not the stigma, but like pe people just think that this is what happens. Like you'll be like you'll produce a song. Like even if you get to work with Beyonce on a song, she has it done before she you she gets into the studio. She comes in, first take is done, it's five minutes and she's gone. Like and you have the, her track to work with, like, but like, I just don't know how she like, how she's gotten to big, so big to the point where people like, she's just so like, she's like a unicorn, like you don't know if she exi exists for real or not, because you only have ever seen her for thirty seconds of your life. Now she didn't used to be like that. I know. But now she is. Like I didn't even think that Beyonce could be so big, and I don't know how she got there. Like, I've always stand, stand Beyonce, but it, it, I just got lucky to stand someone. I've stand her from the beginning. First performance I saw her. What, do you remember what performance that was? I remember Mariah was, Mariah was here. And I was in your bedroom. And I think it was a BET Awards or something. And I might have been 2006. I might know the year. Is that the one that you always kept on rewinding and, and watching over yeah, and over? Yeah, I didn't know who concert? this person was. And I screwed. She was giving me a performance of a lifetime. She was, she was, this was, she was the song she was doing. She was doing Ring the Alarm. Uh-huh. And she had those trench coats on. Right, 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 like, right, 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 right. And she was Oh on that. my gosh, I screamed. I said, who is this? <laughs> I said, who is this? I'm over here seven years and old. And she had these I chairs. I said, who is this? And I have forever since that day stand Beyonce. 
I'll never forget. I remember that song. I remember. And I watched behind the scenes in that thing, and she said, like, she's just so, if she, she wants him, she's going to get it. Like, because they were, like, talking about what she couldn't do for that performance. Because she was trying to have a, a shotgun, like, an air shotgun, whatever they said, you can't do that. Oh, yeah, yeah, but she and did. she said, well, I'm going to do it. Yeah, she did do it. And she did it. Mm-hmm. And she, they were like, well, you can't do it or whatever. And, he, and she was like, well, find a way that I can do it. So what she did was she put a, um, a disclaimer on, on her performance. Mm -hmm. She said at the beginning, before my um, performance, put a uh, viewer discretion is advised if that's such a big deal, and I'm going to do it anyway. And I remember screaming. Like, I just admire Beyonce so much as an artist, not even as her perfect voice. She has the best technique out there, I promise. Rebut, if you want. She has the best technique out there, best live performances. Vocals is a big thing. Her vocals are unmatched live. Unmatched. Unmatched. Live? Live. Just live. Now, everybody lip syncs sometimes. Everybody does. And she's done that before, obviously. Mm -hmm. Everyone, everyone lip syncs that something. I'm, I'm pretty sure that you, you're not gonna always be on 100% when you're on a tour. Oh my God, your voice would be so tired if you're singing uh, two-hour shows uh, once a day and you're going to this place and this. Oh my God, your voice would get tired. Mm -hmm. But anyway, voice is unmatched. Live performance is unmatched. Vocals during live performance is unmatched. Just like there, I don't know. There, I, don't I don't know how you know and so much about her. I know so much, and she's such a hard worker, and I think that's the reason why. She is. If she was just kind of like, oh, and everyone did stuff for her, I don't feel like I would like her as much. But the fact that she's such a uh, hard, like when I, when you see the behind the scenes, like you like like when you see the behind the scenes, you're you're shocked, you're amazed that she does all this not not by herself. She obviously has a team, but she has a hand in all of this. Usually, I I feel like usually people have it like, well, um. They come to me with ideas and I say yes or no. But she has she has her hand in everything. I don't like this. I don't like that. If it's, if I don't like it, it's not happening. And she like is there. She's up all night getting no sleep. Up all night getting no sleep because she wants her performance to be perfect. And that's why I'm seeing her in Chicago this year. Well, who's mine? Huh? With mine. How much is it? Well, I'm paying four hundred. And you won't be in the uh, bleachers? So where no, I'll be in the parking lot. Right. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll be, I'll be in the parking lot. Right. Listening to her on, on, on Apple Music, right. I'll just be able to see her in right. the distance. Right, with $400. With, next to the trees. I'll see it. Like, I'll see her there. And I'll be like, oh, that's Beyonce. Will you really get up there with your money? Like, become the therapist? Or your, uh, what's it the called? The psychiatrist? The psychiatrist. For the stars? If you're coming to me, no, 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 I don't no. want to be with you. What I'm saying... Really? <laughs> Anyways, when you get in your profession, would you spend money at the department to see Beyonce? Oh my gosh. My check. Three to four thousand dollars? My whole check, yeah. I'll be, I'll be backstage. She'll know who I am because I'll be coming to every, every time she comes to my city, I'll be going backstage. They're going, hey, remember me? Hey, remember me? Hey, remember me? <laughs> and they're like, hey, yeah, yeah, you need some and help. And one day I'm going to get a letter and they're going to say, you can't come. Right, anyway. you can't come no more because you're kind of crazy. <laughs> you can't come anymore. You've been doing a lot. Right. Oh my gosh! Like I just have you. Can you imagine like Beyonce like knowing your name, like knowing who you are, or like even one time knowing, like saying your name. Like Beyonce, ha she doesn't remember me anymore. But Beyonce has said my name before. Like you know what I'm saying? Like could you imagine that? I don't look at her like that. I don't look at nobody like that. I don't know. I don't know why. Well, there's no one else to look at it like that but Beyonce. There's nobody else. I stand like that. Now, another person that I really li li low-key like that I don't say, talk a lot about is Ariana Grande, because I really don't want to like her. There's a lot of people, there's a, oh, ooh, people think I'm, a, I'm evil. People think, think I'm evil right now. <laughs> I don't like this I like Ariana Grande. I, don't like Ariana Grande. Ariana Grande. What's I wrong love her? Ariana Grande. Oh my god, her voice is just immaculate. She's just giving me an... Better to Beyonce? No. No. It ain't even that immaculate then. It is, but... Everyone has different genres. That's like that's like She's comparing a different genre. Nicki Minaj to, to Cardi B. They had they're in the same thing. They sing. They both you know, do rap. They both sing, but they're and they both do rap or whatever. You know, Nicki Minaj and Cardi B. But Cardi B is not Nicki. Nicki Minaj is just like I don't know. Like Nicki Minaj has a different variation of it, a different take on it. So mm -hmm. they're not really in the same. She's category. a legend. She's she's yeah. Now for some reason I don't know if 
I mean, Nicki Minaj is a legend, but like, why? I feel like she doesn't get as enough clout, recognition recognition for what she should. Like, like Rihanna and Beyonce are up there. They treat the three top queens in maybe in because the industry, there's been a lot of rappers. In total, is literally the three people that you would think of are, are the top are Beyonce, Rihanna, and Nicki Minaj. For for African Americans. No, in general. Now what about Adele, Taylor Swift. Adele, she's no. Adele. I don't think Taylor Swift has made it like that. She is. I mean, she is. She has made it. What about like, like Lady Gaga? Katy Perry fell off. Oh my God, I feel so bad. Katy Perry was a one hit wonder. No, she no, was, she, she wasn't. Had a season. She was killing it. She but was. I think she, she waited had a too season. long. There's a time. There's a time. Okay, this is the thing. When you're famous, there's a point in time where you wait too long after being so big. So you can be big, 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 and these are all your albums you made. Big, big, right, big, right, big. right, right. And then you take your hi hiatus because you think it's the right time. It's kind of like a gamble. You think you think it's the right time. I can take a longer hiatus this time because people know who I am. And when I come back, they're going to still know who I am. Right. But some people underestimate that time. And they um, they, they like, so, hey, Katie who? Katie who? Right. <laughs> so when she came back this past year, everyone literally did a Katie. Oh, my gosh. I have a video. Oh, my God. It was hilarious. Someone edited it to make it to make it, make it funnier, but everyone everyone was going Katie Who really when they, when she came out with that she came out with Switch with Nicki Minaj and that's the only um, song that was popping on that album or that whole album, and everything else was trash. I feel like not trash, but I feel Mediocre. like yeah, I feel like music hasn't been doing good. Fetty Wap, he came out with an album this year, he and Wap? I didn't know that Fetty Wap. You Fetty know, Wap? Um, I mean, um, did his uh, did yeah, his, uh, his yeah his album I, flop? It really did. I, did you know he had an album? Cause I didn't. Now Fetty Wap was a one hit wonder. Really, he really was. Not a one hit. He might have been a two hit wonder. But everyone thought he was gonna be coming back. It was kind of like Bryson Tiller. Bryson Tiller had a nice, cute album. Then he came out with True to Self, and everyone was going. Stop the brakes. I was going, oh my god. And then that's what happened with Fetty Wap. He had um, you know, six, seven, nine, or whatever it's called. Um, and he had a few songs or, or on his album, and then he had the song with uh, "Work from Home" with with uh, Fifth Harmony. But then the second time he tried to come back with a new album, no one said anything. Like I didn't even know he had. I literally, I literally the other day I was going, "Where's Fetty Wap?" And he released an album on January 18, 2018. And that's so sad that I like never heard anything about the album. Like I never heard any of the songs, and maybe some of this is because I don't listen to the radio. Mm -hmm. But that's how you know you made it when I don't have to listen to the radio, and I still like know. Oh, you came out with a song, or you're doing this. Like I'm interested enough to go to your Instagram, or I'm thinking about your whatever. But some of these people are gonna say, "Well, I knew that song, or I knew that Katy Perry released this, or whatever." That's because you probably listen to the radio, and they probably they're obviously gonna play new music like that. And she came out with the new, but. Anyway, yeah, Beyonce took the, the, like, Rihanna's up there, too. Rihanna's to the point where she could take us however long the break and come back. And we'll, st and we'll still be going, oh, my God, oh, my God, Rihanna. Taylor Swift, too. Adele, too. No, because Taylor, Taylor Swift came out with Reputation. And it didn't do nowhere near what uh, 1978 did. Oh. Her album, 1978. Oh, my God. She killed it on 1978. She I don't, was I, that was, on, like, I don't know anybody else. Literally, I was getting tired of Taylor Swift. Like, there were so many, it was like one after another, there was like, almost like One hit out of, out of one, And they weren't all hits at the same time. It was literally one hit, and then the next week, the, ne the next song on the album would be stuck in your head. And everyone in the nation would be agreeing. And then he would do the next song, and the next song. And it was kind of like... After one died down, she's like, okay. And she did some kind of spell. And we're all going, oh my god, this song is hitting it now. This new song that we have never heard on this album. Wildest Dreams. She's giving me blank space. She's giving 22. me... 22. Um, 22. That's on another album. Oh. <laughs> on 1978. Um, 22. Ooh, ooh. And yeah. she, was, she was giving me that too. Oh my gosh. Taylor Swift was killing it. But then with Reputation. She was doing uh, every, on everybody's uh, songs though. T.I. song. She was on a lot of no, the songs. I don't remember that. You don't remember her doing T.I. Her and T.I. doing a song? No. No. You, she wears short skirts. I wear t-shirts. Uh, she's I, here I, yeah, captain yeah. and I'm on the bleachers. What she was the song she did with T.I.? Really she up and fine. Watch Darius, you know that song. No, I really don't. Yes, you do. With T.I.? Yes. I don't mess with T.I. either. Say, say Taylor Swift with T.I. song. Watch when you hear you look. Oh, I did remember it. Let me see. Taylor Swift. See, she came out with a new album called Reputation. And I, 
Oh my gosh! See, I know I picked the right songs. My favorite song on the album is Delicate. And of that album, the Delicate is the, 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 the most popular song. She did... Look at what you made me do. Hate that song. Look at what you made me. I don't do. know why I, did, I. I don't even know why I did. I thought I did the cover because I thought everyone was gonna like it. I was. I was learning the song. I said, "What is this?" I said, "What is this?" It was a good song. I said, "What is this?" Anyways, do look at Taylor Swift and, and Ti. Look at it's not even up there. Let me see Taylor Taylor's um, and I'm gonna say T dot I. Let's see what happens. Oh my God, it's gonna say nothing. Okay, Google. Taylor Swift and Ti. Song. Oh, never mind. Here is a matching video. Live your life. You remember that song? But she Play didn't it. sing that song. That's Rihanna. To live your life. Hey. Oh, that's it. Live your life. My life. My life. My life. That's all. Right. That's Rihanna. What Taylor Swift did something with she did not. Let me see. No, she didn't. Yes, yeah, she did. This is a lot. I Taylor's. promise you, cause she talked about it in her um thing, her um, uh, an interview. Are you talking about um, Kanye West? No. Oh my God, Tiny, Kanye West did her dirty. Oh my God, I love Bob too. That's besides the point. Darius, that is that is not Rihanna. What's wrong with you? Is it her? Yeah. See, no, it's not. Look, featuring Rihanna, this is the uh, actual version. Yes, but her Taylor Swift did it with him when they was all on the they was on the on the stage and she was saying how it was it was an honor. Ti mm. talked about it. In yeah, his video. but this is not. This is Rihanna. It's probably a remake. No, this is the original. This is on. This is two million views. This is Rihanna and him. Okay, what about that one? Look, her stuff got ninety two k. What? She must have did. She must have did it for Rihanna. And Rihanna's that a day. legend, if I'm being honest. Rihanna's a legend. But okay, okay, we're gonna okay, go. y'all, we're finna go out because this has been too tough, too, 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 too long. Cause I know Darius will keep talking and talking and talking about um, artists. Crazy so. Anyways, y'all. I don't know what an artist this is. Huh? A person that sings. You can talk about them all day long. Anyway, start cleaning up your stuff. Put your pizza in there because you will be eating that late night snack. I'm putting, keeping pizza in this. No, why wouldn't you put it in there? Because there is, it's much smaller. I don't want to put all that stuff. That's not going to, that's, you just I make it I keep my worse. pizza out. There is, no. Put your pizza I in that I don't want box. mine in that. that. You're going to eat it tonight. Yeah. Anyways, y'all, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share this video with anyone, everyone. Let them know what your girls do on the channel. And I'll see you guys tomorrow with another video. Don't forget to stay safe, bless. Ugh. Don't forget stay to stay safe, safe and stay, safe blessed. And stay blessed. Peace. Love you guys so, so, so much. Huh. Peace. I'm tired. Me too. Like, I'm so tired. Like, me too. Like, I'm so tired. Yeah, like. I will, I will, when to there is, I want to hear starting cleaning up. No, I didn't. What that mean? And then I woke up at eight. There was just because you've been watching all of. And I didn't, I never remember that I have haircuts. I'm sorry, I was trying to catch up on SZA. Uh huh. SZA. Oh, you don't want this box? Look at this box, there. Isn't that much more cleaner? Yeah. Now put that but in she there. She didn't say that though. That's why you didn't want that box. I didn't want it because it was nasty. But you could have took the, the paper out of it. No, I didn't know if it was going to be in the bottom of it. Or... Mm. And fancy car eyes and then you'll see. The there is. That's enough. Far. No, there is. Oh. Goodness. I better not catch this on the video. You will. Because if I don't stop it. And, um. It's already All I do is just. I got a uh, jugari bag down here too. I think. I'm so tired. Just your life. Hey. Take one little nap and get back up. Hey, but chase 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 up. Hey, but
to not say. Nope. What was I say? Because I'll be making more than a one point three when? million with the voice. Okay. Now I don't know quite when, but right. It'll be happening. Do you know how many people have dreamed that dream of saying they're gonna make it? Okay, mom. You don't have to shut mine down. I'm just letting you know. That's the reality. I don't really don't think that's. You the better way be very to unique. Mind. I really don't think that's the way you're supposed to do it. And you know that, like, person's like, uh, you should, did I tell you that, like, Angie, she tried for, um, for, uh, America's Got Talent eight times? Okay, you don't get in on it. And time. she, she made it on a night try? Sometimes that happens. And then when you get there, you still don't make it, you get cut? Yeah. That's, I don't even. But you got there. I didn't, I didn't even want to go on the, uh, through that way, that route, because I feel like you never get big by that. Even even Fant even Fantasia and 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 um. Who else would that? You know, Fantasia and uh and Jennifer, uh, Hudson, uh -huh. are not as big as they as Should be. I. No, they might ma have made it for them, but what I'm thinking about being big, I'm not thinking about being on their status. You talking about being on Taylor Swift status, Lady Gaga, Beyonce status? No, that's like. But I want to be on the status of like, Salas, Salas. no. Betty Wap. Because I'll never let my fame go down like that. I don't know what happened. But I'd be making sure people were waiting for my stuff. Okay, whatever. Anyway, but I meant it was like, um, I want to be on like, SZA. No, she's going to be bigger. But, SZA. You said she going to be bigger? Yeah. Okay. But yeah. She's, I don't think she's ever going to be a Beyonce status. That's but she's gonna, I think since it was is probably like what I would want to do. Yeah, life. Yeah, life. 